What to do until the stars fall. Our text, Proverbs 4, 10 through 12. In college, my biology professor, Max Dowell, was an unrepentant Southerner. I mean, the guy had a drawl as thick as deep South molasses. And while I'm sorry to admit that I don't remember a whole lot about biology, you know, you know, I was never much for the Latin names of frogs and the smell of formaldehyde, uh, I really don't think I'll ever forget the professor who probably had the words to Dixie tattooed on his bicep. You know, having grown up in New Jersey, I needed to listen carefully in class since his accent seemed like a whole different dialect to me. But through all the cross-cultural stuff, there is one thing he frequently said that has stuck. I even find myself repeating it with a southern twang of my own. What it had to do with biology, I'll never know. But periodically, he would come out with this phrase, Do right till the stars fall. We'd all agree that do right is a terrific piece of advice. But coming to grips with the advice may be a challenge. Now, I usually feel pretty good about what I do and rarely think that I am wrong, only to find out that even my best intention moves in life are more like ready, fire, aim, instead of well thought through strategies on how to do what is truly right. You know, emotions have a way of pulling the trigger before I fully think the moment through. Rationalizations and excuses have a way of fogging my perspectives to make things that are clearly wrong look like pretty good options. Admittedly, most of the twisted and lame moments in my life have been a direct connect to times when I have not done what is right. You know, saying the wrong thing, expressing the wrong attitude, caving into wrong thoughts and desires, and the list goes on. And with me, it's a really long list. And if you are honest with yourself, you are thinking that you have the same list of regrets. You know that, why did I ever do that, say that response to life as well. Hey, we need help. And thankfully, God clears the air by reminding us that left to ourselves, we are a risk to most anything nearby. So admitting our tendency to repeated misfires is a great beginning. But where do we go from there? Well, embrace the wonderful fact that his will and ways are always right. When we take our clues from him, we start being right more than wrong as we measure all we do by his will and his word. He is right about forgiveness. He's right about generosity and patience and tolerance, humility, and giving our boss a good day's work. In fact, he is right about everything. That's why we call him a righteous God. Well, we nicknamed our prop Durat Dowell. I wonder if anybody would give you a compliment like that. Why don't you live to give them a chance?